Are you sensitive to God's alarm clock? A blessed day to all. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. For most people, waking up in the morning is the least enjoyable event of the day. Most would agree that getting out of bed in the morning is the hardest thing to do. In 1787, Levi Hutchins from the USA invented the very first alarm clock. It can only ring at 4 o'clock in the morning. When it makes a sound, everyone who can hear it knows that it is already 4 a.m. Today's modern alarm clocks has a snooze button that you can hit when the alarm goes off so you can go back to sleep. In about 5 or 10 minutes, the alarm will go off again and we hit the snooze button again. We keep hitting the snooze button over and over until we realize we are late for work. In today's gospel, in the book of Luke chapter 16 verses 19 to 31. Jesus told the story about a rich man who wore expensive clothes and lived in a big mansion. A beggar named Lazarus lay outside the rich man's place. Lazarus was starving and blisters covered his body. Lazarus was hoping that the rich man might show compassion and help him. Lazarus would be happy and satisfied with the leftovers from the rich man's table. But every day, the rich man passed by Lazarus without even giving him a thought. One can imagine that he passed by Lazarus so many times that he eventually got to the point that he didn't see Lazarus at all. Lazarus died and went to heaven. The same thing happened to the rich man, but he went to hell. In hell, he looked up and saw Lazarus in heaven with Abraham. He asked Abraham to let Lazarus dip his finger in water and come and touch, touch it to his burning tongue. But Abraham said no. Then he reminded the rich man how he had enjoyed such good things on earth while Lazarus had nothing. The rich man asked Abraham to allow Lazarus to go back to earth and warn his five brothers so that they would not end up in hell with him. But again, Abraham said no. If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. God uses today's gospel as an alarm clock for us. He is giving us a wake-up call just as he did with the rich man by using Lazarus. Every day, God's alarm clock for the rich man goes off every time he passes by Lazarus. Unfortunately, the rich man kept hitting the snooze button. He kept ignoring the cry for help of Lazarus. Maybe he got to a point where Lazarus was already invisible to the eyes of the rich man. God is sending us a wake-up call. Let us pray that we will be sensitive to God's alarm clock. Time is fleeting. When we see an opportunity to be a vessel of God's love, let's not hit our snooze button, but wake up and respond to any opportunity to share His love to those who are in need, like Lazarus. Let's respond to God's alarm clock before it's too late. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Father, when you sound the alarm telling us it is time to wake up and follow you, may we never be guilty of hitting the snooze button saying, Later, Lord. Instead, allow us to rise up and follow you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless you and your loved ones our church, and couples for Christ.